Hey folks, welcome back. So we are back to work again this week on working on the bridge and we are into the final section on this, the kind of the last third of the bridge in getting the I-beams cleaned up, getting deck boards on and whatnot. Now the first thing that we need to work on with this is cleaning up the I-beams, getting all the rust and all that kind of stuff off from the tops of those before we start putting our deck boards on. Now this section of the bridge is definitely the worst section of them with the I-beams. These have way more rust on them. And so it's going to take a little bit longer to get these all cleaned up, get all the rust off, any of the kind of the scaly rust, get that chipped off from there and really get them cleaned up real well before we start painting. One other thing that we need to do is get the rods out and these are the rods that go through the arch pieces and kind of tension them or compression I guess it would be. Uh, they hook them to the I-beams and that gives it some support to keep it from sagging when you're driving across it with something. So those still need to come out and that makes it easier to kind of clean up the rust around those holes where the rods go through the I-beams. But first of all, like I said, we just got to do a whole bunch of grinding on these things to get all this rust off. Then also we need to get the nuts welded onto the bottom of the flanges and those are just what some bolts are going to hook into that go through the deck boards and I've talked about this in some of the other previous videos so I'll, I'll leave a link for more explanation on that either in the description or somewhere up around in here.
Alrighty, so with the worst of the rust off from these beams, we're going to come through one last time just to kind of do a final surfacing on it, get all that last little bit of surface rust off from it. And then we are going to put a coat, a primer on these things, and then let it set for a couple days. Alright, so another kind of short week this week. Um, today we are just out here to put a coat of primer on it. It's been a couple days since when we put the... Did I say another coat of primer? I think I did. Okay, we'll try this again. We are just out here to put a coat of the, the top coat, top coat paint on there. Uh, the primer's been sitting on it for a couple days, so that's kind of cured up. So we'll get this top coat on, and then that'll set here for another couple days over the weekend. And then next week, we'll be able to start putting boards on it. All right, folks, that is going to be it for this week. Kind of a short week this week, but it really did take quite a while to try and get all that rust off from these I-beams. They were just, like I said, these were kind of the worst section of these I-beams of all the ones that we did. So that kind of took a while to get all those cleaned up and done, but uh, you know, we really want this to last another hundred years, so it's worth the, uh, the time and energy to get it done right and hopefully make it last for a very long time. Also, I wanted to say a, a big thank you to Mr. Reedy, Jay Reedy from the Reedy Chronicles YouTube channel. Um, he contacted me like a week ago or so and he said, hey, are you interested in a couple bandsaw blades? I was like, uh, well, sure, why not? And he, so what happened is he'd ordered a couple bandsaw blades and by accident he ordered the size for the original HM130 instead of the 130 Max, which is what he has. So if you're interested in seeing anything about the, the kind of the big brother of the 130, go check out his channel. I'll leave a uh, link for that down in the description. But anyways, he accidentally ordered the wrong size. So he said, hey, you know what? If you want them, you can have them. So these things showed up in the mail uh, this past week. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some good use out of that. Um, I think one of them is for like really hard or frozen wood. It's like a, I think a four degree and the other is a seven degree, which is what we're running on here currently. So possibly this winter we might have to try out that, uh, that real just barely there uh, angle on it for with that four degree if we're doing any milling where we've got some really hard or frozen wood. We'll have to give these a try. So I just wanted to say a big thank you for those. Next week with any luck we should get our final stretch of deck boards done here. Uh, get all the rest of that across there with our first level. So it'll kinda sort of be done. It's It would be good enough that you know you could drive a, an empty pickup truck or something across to that. I don't know that I'd wanna try driving the skid steer across because that's a lot of weight. Now granted it is spread across a good bit of surface area because it's got the tracks on it, but 
I think I'd rather wait until after we get a second layer of deck boards on before we try running that thing across. I'm not sure if we'll get around to doing anything with the windows next week or not. Uh, I guess we'll find out then. But anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.